Okay, this I thought I got it done faster because I didn't feel like it took that long. It took just as long as the other one did, but I enjoy it. It's just such a it's something that doesn't take a lot of brain power and it's repetitive, and I like that because I don't know, it's just relaxing to sit and do it. Um, I almost wish I had more to do, but I also want to get this done. Um, this sleeve turned out so much better than the other one. I was happy with the other one, but this one is even better. I did smaller stitches. And you can't even, like, if you come to this side where it's flat and there's no ruffles, you can find a few stitches um, along here. I did a light, there you can see. Um, I did a light pink thread, vintage thread. Um, I know a lot of people don't recommend using vintage thread. Um, it's something I've grown up doing a lot. Um, the only thing is you want to make sure it's not dry rotted. So my simple way to figure out that is I just take it. That one actually broke easier, but um, I will just like break off a piece and compare it to regular thread. And this one's pretty strong. It says extra strong. This one was 100% polyester and it was pink, a very light pink. Um, so I thought I would use that because it matches pretty well. Um, and I didn't have any white. So yeah, I've got that done. The sleeves, I just love seeing all the gathers. It's just so satisfying. Anyway, now figure out how to install my zipper so I am so excited about this um it's not quite done yet um I decided I liked the look better of the sleeves on my shoulder they're just prettier that way so this gives me a lot of extra and this is similar to how I used to do it when I was like seven um except I would cut a long rectangle and I've gotten better at it so I don't waste as much fabric but um just pull it up I just pulled it because I made the bodice larger than it needs to be um or wider I just pulled it up and I figured out where it needed to be for my where I wanted the neckline to be once I pulled it up so I'm gonna I marked that just with a pin I'll make it equal on both sides and then I'll just cut to that point um I'm not really gonna make it any I'm gonna make it a little bit um lower just because whenever I gather it up it's gonna be like that but I don't want it I still want it to be a pretty high neckline so probably gonna be like right there maybe just to the top of my uh collarbone um and then yeah I will measure for my pleats and I'll figure out how much I'll probably take about two inches out of the back for the zipper um we'll see I want to do this right though and Whenever I do patterns, it's so hard for me to focus. Um, like when I made the dress back in December, I was having such a hard time understanding their instructions. Um, 
that I couldn't add to that my own alterations to make it the better finishes that I wanted. Um, so the great thing about making your own patterns is you can just kind of like your brain is the one that thought of the pattern so you understand it um you know exactly what your intentions were so it just makes it a lot easier to do things like i know exact i purposely left room for print seams because i was planning on doing that um and just everything i planned so i understand it and it just makes it so much easier to make a better product because you know what you're doing and yeah so like i said i'm trying not to show too much because i wanted to be like fun reveal at the end but kind of hard when you're showing what you're doing um so the ruffle goes right over the armband and last night I did say that I might make it a little bit larger but I don't think I would this one that I made last night is a slightly more snug somehow I must have just made it the measurement's a little bit different um but it's like I can still slide my fingers in it um through it and this one's a little bit looser this is actually the perfect size because um it's not sliding down and it's not too tight. So anyways, that's it. I'm going to cut my collar wider, um, prepare for the zipper by cutting down the back, sewing it um, with a one inch seam allowance on either side. And then yeah, we'll start sewing. I'm excited. figure out um how to take it in one thing you want to watch for is make sure the shoulder seam stays on the top of your shoulder you're not pulling it down like this this is going to make it all wonky so um make sure it stays up there and then you can kind of um pull the extra fabric to the center and then i think just make sure it's laying all right the shoulder seams where it needs to be and then I know this is how much extra I have to take in. So I'll mark that with a pin. Sometimes I mark it with a pin, sometimes I use um, a pin. Another kind of pin, P-I-N. Um, and then I'll just mark it there and here. Now I know those are my marks for where to take it in. I can take in that much fabric. Um, and that way I won't take in too much or not enough and I can arrange these pleats however I want them. Um, I'm going to cut down the middle of the back and then uh, sew it together with one inch on either side and then sew in my zipper um, and I'll do a row of top stitch around the neck to hold my pleats in place and then I'm going to make some bias tape um, for the neckline. And I'll sew that down with the machine one way, just like I did on the sleeves, and I'll use the same stitch, the invisible stitch, to fold it over on the other side. I think it'll just be easier with a round neckline um, to do it by hand, and that way you don't have um, seams showing on this side of the fabric. So yeah, that's what we've left to do.
the zipper is installed. I didn't video that because my phone ended up dying. Um, but I've got the zipper installed. I ended up not using the one I had originally chosen because I didn't hadn't noticed this is a dress placket with this metal bridge at the top, so it's more like for a side zipper. Um, and I just wasn't paying attention to that. And it's also a bit shorter than I wanted. So instead, I did this different vintage zipper. Um, turned out pretty well, I think. Um, the top is a little bit rough, but the rest of it turned out really well. Didn't bother iron, iron, didn't bother ironing it. Um, but yeah, like I said, the top's a little bit more rough. That's where I had to go back and sew it. The rest of it, though, I feel like is pretty good. And it's a, it's a little bit finer of a zipper, which I like, um, than the original one that I had. It zips really well. And yeah, so I have this raw edge and later I will go in, fold this under. You know what, I'll just do that now because the collar, once I put in the collar, it'll hard, be hard to do this later. So I'm gonna do the same invisible stitching that I did earlier, like I said. Let me show you what that'll look like real quick. Um, Cause it's kind of hard to show you when I'm doing it. So we'll just turn this edge under. So instead of having a raw edge, it'll be turned underneath the zipper um, and stitched down. I think that'll look really nice. I'm so glad I'm finishing this well because um, it's just so much nicer to wear and it will last longer. And I hate fixing things once they're already made. So this will save me a lot of trouble later. And so I'm gonna turn on a video and just tack that down. Um, I probably won't uh, video that just because my phone died. Like I said, um, I'll be using this to watch my video. And yeah, um, it's just the same thing I did earlier. I might do a little bit of videoing. Uh, one thing I do wanna say when you're doing this stitch, you really do want a short piece of thread. You only use a single thread for this. So I wouldn't do much long, like 10 or 11 inches max. Um, and then I just go through and I pull this back, which means that I can have a little bit of a longer thread. And then as I need more thread, I just keep doing that. Um, but it really does get tangled quite easily. I thought I could do a longer thread. I always try to do as long a thread as possible. Um, and I did a longer thread last night and ended up having to cut it because the single thread just will tie into knots, which makes it drag through the fabric and it wasn't coming through. So yeah, I guess that's it. Now to do the zipper, which actually I really enjoy doing this. So this will be fun. And so here's a little bit of a before. Look at all the raw edges. Those tulips just look so pretty though. They are in rows, but they did a good job of disguising that. Um, and I also love the little dashes of green in this fabric. Um, you can see, well, like, see there's these little tiny dashes of green that I just love so much. It's a very spring-like um, pattern. And I feel like it's definitely past the 1930s, I think, even though it is not. Um, I did look at the fabric content of this, and I thought it was a higher cotton amount. There's a woodpecker out my window. That woodpecker is probably the one that's keeping me awake last night. Last night, I kept hearing a woodpecker in the middle of the night. I'm like, dude, it's nighttime. He's just out there getting a midnight snack or something, I guess, but kept me awake. Anyway. Oh, the fabric content. It is 50% polyester and 50% cotton, and I wish it was higher cotton or just cotton, but it's what I had. It's just a sheet that we got from the thrift store, and it will work well. I'm glad I have this to practice with, and now I'm ready to just buy lots of sheets, vintage sheets at the thrift store and make them into dresses because that's just fun. Anyway, I'm going to start sewing now.
so I finished it. Um, it's not as perfect as I would like it to be. You can see the stitches on the other side. Um, but when it's worn, I don't think it will be too noticeable. Um, see, so you can see all these little stitches here. And it's a little bit puckered. It was a bit hard to pull this underneath fabric um, tight, um, but not too tight. So it's a little bit wrinkled, like I said, but I don't think it should be too terribly noticeable. Um, and yeah, it's done. It was actually faster than doing the sleeves because it, it took me an hour and 15 minutes to get both sides of this zipper done. Um, and with the sleeves, it took me about exactly an hour to do one. So it's a bit time consuming, but the straight edge, I think, on this helped. Um, also, I tried doing it without pins at first, and that was really hard because there's a raw edge. So definitely either fold over that edge and have it like how we had the sleeve. Um, how I had this hem already done, the second one, um, so that you don't have to try to keep the raw edge folded under or just pinning it well will work. So um, I think I'm going to make a bias tape for the neck. Um, I was going to try to do the gathers, but it's hard to gather something when you're not gathering it to another piece of fabric. So I think I'm going to pin this, um, try it on, see how loose it is in the back. Um, because that still looks like a large neck because of the back. So I might have to do some little um, pleats in the back as well. So pin that and then I'll try it on and figure out what I need to fix. My bias tape is almost done. It's not done. Um, but I knew I did it right because it's very stretchy. Um, I just kind of guessed on the diagonal of the fabric. I didn't get real exact with it. Um, my fabric was not quite as long as I needed. So I just did a seam right here diagonally. Um, and now I'm going to iron this seam down um, and then fold in this fabric by thirds just a second like that kind of you know match up the raw seams in the middle iron that down so that i can just easily fold this around the fabric
guys tape is done and I'm really happy it's so dainty and pretty um, one side has almost no flowers on it and then this side is full of flowers so I'm gonna look at both and see which one I like this one just has like little sprigs of green and it's a bit more simple and this one will have will make like a row of um, tulips around it so I'm trying to decide if I want what side I want for that um, and I think it'll be a little bit harder than I expected to gather my fabric to this. Um, I didn't think about how narrow I wanted the um, bias tape to be. Like, I knew I wanted it pretty small. But I didn't think about the fact that it'll be harder to gather it to that. Um, I almost forgot to do the second fold and left it open like this. Thankfully, I remembered, though. And that'll make it much easier. So I'm going to go figure out what I'm going to do. Um, how I'm going to gather them. Uh, the neckline. So I just found the center of the bias tape and put it on the center front of the neck since um, it's not a complete circle um, because of the zipper in the back and I decided I do like the look of the flowers a lot better. Um, it just kind of adds a nice detail to it. So I'm going to pin it right here leaving out this excess and then I'll start pinning um, all of the gathers to it. Uh, I just thought of something. I'm going to measure this actually and I will pin at the shoulder at both the shoulders and then I'll just keep reducing this excess by half um, to make even gathers across the neckline um, but I'm going to start the gathers about that far between my two fingers uh, about there um, off the shoulder because I don't want gathers all the way up to the shoulder I think that looks strange anyway I think I've got it figured out so we'll try that. Ouch. Poke myself. So I have it all pinned. Um, it actually worked better than I expected. Um, this is what the bodice will look like. I'm going to just stitch that down. I have it already in the back with my excess there. Um, I'm going to sew this down starting at the back. Um, it just sew in a circle. And then I'll be right back. So I did it pretty close to the edge. Um, of the fabric. I sewed it down. I'm going to take out all my needles and then I may do a second one. I'm not sure. No, I think I'll just leave it. I think one row of stitches will be enough. I could do a second. But I just don't really feel like it. And I think though maybe it would hold better. So maybe I just should. I am indecisive. But I guess it won't take me that long, may as well. It doesn't hurt anything to do that. So I just unzipped the zipper some so that I could do this. And it did capture all of the fabric, so I don't have to worry about that. But I think I will just do on another one, just because like, in some places it is pretty close to the sewing. And I don't want that to come out later because that'll be a lot harder to sew than when it's all out like this. So, I'll zip this up and hold it up so you can see. You know what might be nice? If I made this back excess into a bow, I wonder if that would work. And then I could use a hook and I'd keep it in place so I don't have to tie it all the time. But the pleats on the front, I think, turned out pretty good. I think maybe my... I did it a little bit wider than I needed to, um, the front part. Next time I'd probably put that a little bit closer so that the rough, the gathers don't go so high up on the collar. But I like it. I'm really excited. And of course this is not going to be that wide. It's going to be like this. It's very narrow um, bias tape. But I'm glad I went ahead and made the bias tape. It just gives it a more complete look. Um, and it's a better way to finish off this collar. Um, so yeah, I'll go do one more row of stitches on this to make sure it's super secure. Um, and then I'll come back and do the blind stitching, which I'm looking forward to because it's just so mindless and I can watch something in the middle of the day and not feel bad about it at all. <laughs> I'm actually basically out of coffee. That's fine. I might have to make some tea.
So, this part always sticks up when it's humid. Anyway, um, it turned out pretty good. It took about an hour again, um, just under an hour. This side, I accidentally cut straight, so I didn't, wasn't able to give it a very nice edge, but thankfully, um, I remembered on this side, and so this one is quite neat and tidy. Um, yeah, zip it up. These zippers are so much better. Ooh, because of that, it's not quite even, but... Maybe I could do a little hook and eye right there. I don't know. It's not quite even though, which is a little bit annoying. Um, this is what it looks like. And then the back. Yeah, now I have to figure out how to attach this in the pants. Well, I got the pocket sewn. Um, I tried on the pants with the top. Got to the point where I was a bit discouraged because figuring out how to attach those I thought would be really simple. <sighs> but it's not turning out to be as simple and I'm tired and I kind of expected just to work well together once I put them both together. And it wasn't how I was thinking. So I'm trying to figure out how to put those together. I'm wondering if maybe it's a little bit too voluminous. I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna try to put, I'm trying to figure out how to do the pleats and the pants and how to put the pockets in. I was originally thinking I'll do a pleat in the front and back and then, you know, take and put a dart on either side of the hips. Um, and then that would make them more A-lined, but the problem is, is a zipper needs to go in the back, which would mean doing a pleat there would be kind of hard. Um, and at the sides, pockets need to go in. So that means only place I can easily do a pleat or a dart is in the front and I can't just gather it all there so time to figure out how I'm gonna do all this so I took like a 30 minute break because I was just tired and could not figure out how to do this and just totally burn out and I think I figured out how to do this um I've got my waistband and I'm going to just because I can't figure out the pants around my brain will not wrap around it so I have my waistband and I'm just going to gather the bodice to the waistband, sew them together, and then from there, figure out the next step. I already did the pockets trying to figure out how to do this part and it didn't, you know, so be ready. Now I'm just going to do this waistband. I can do this. I'll just do as much as I can to get it finished. So hopefully that part will make sense. I did it. It's finally finished. Um... It's not as good as what I was hoping, but I'm happy with it. Uh, this one, was d I'm over here by the window, so I'm having to crouch down because the lighting is horrible. The sun's already gone down. Um, anyway, this project was like, didn't have high expectations for it. I just did it on a whim, or decided to do it on a whim. And then I was like, oh, this is turning out so much better. It's going to be great. And then like three times during this I was like great this is not going to work and I wanted I wanted but I did not want to do this but I really just wanted to put the project away and not finish it because I was frustrated that I did not know how I was gonna finish it um but it's done I will video the reveal tomorrow <laughs> Um, yeah, the zipper was a mess to put in. I originally thought I was not going to put the zipper in, um, all the way, because I'm like, that's a really long zipper, I don't need all that. But then I decided only putting it in the bodice would make it too short, so I was like, well, if I'm gonna add more to the zipper, may as well just do all of it. But, because I had already put the zipper in, it was a headache to get it in the last, and I will admit, the last six inches of this zipper is installed horribly. <laughs> It's there. It's stuck. But it's really bad. Um, and so it looks really funny to have half a zipper put in really well and the rest of it not. But anyway, I'm excited. Yeah.